In a city that is teeming with 20 million people and hounded by problems, could you ever imagine that a local couple would give a chance to their community to vent their problems? A 19-year-old photographer teams up with a unique family of four to take the problems of their community head-on and expose them to the world. Unbelievable? Believe it. Mr. Arun D'Souza, the owner of the Neighborhood Times, is a calm, composed and hard-working man. He worked at midday for five years and was given the task of launching eight local newspapers in Bombay as part of the Midday Metro project. Launching eight papers gave him the confidence to ultimately start his own newspaper called the Neighborhood Times in Bombay. The most successful, uh, uh, I think one of the most successful campaigns or something to the community was uh, when this guy died. There was a guy who, uh, an 18 year old, 19 year old kid, okay, who stays in Lokanwara in the Mada complex. Uh, this guy, 18 year old night old kid, the morning, he went to work somewhere at night and then he, when he came back, he was on a motorbike and a friend of his, train rider, both of them rammed into a stationary truck. Okay, uh, what happened was this guy was in the hospital for over a month and the total expenses of his entire family came to approximately around 8 to 8 and a half lakhs. Where uh, they had to, uh, they borrowed money and they obviously people don't have support money. So they, you know, there are a lot of friends and people donated the money and said, don't worry, take care of the kid. Okay, that's more important. Uh, the kid was recovering and uh, he was brought to a hospital which is close by. And uh, suddenly one day he just, uh, he was watching some match and then later on he just died. Out of, you know, we don't know what happened. But uh, they said it was something to do with his brain and that, so an injury happened. So, so he died. Then we got to know that, uh, the entire family had a huge uh, expense of around 8 and, eight and a half lakhs. So when we got to know about it, Neighborhood Times said we should do something for this family. And uh, we wrote about this. Uh, we, uh, we, we wrote about this entire incident that happened and how this family is, the background of this family. And then uh, we asked people to donate. And uh, we were quite surprised and you know, uh, what happened was, uh, after we wrote the story, a lot of people uh, read it and they called them up and we had given the name, number and the account details of these people, you know, where people can deposit the money and donate directly. Uh, we ran this campaign over the span of, I think, uh, two or three weeks and people out here were very generous and they gave approximately three, three and a half likes. So, you know, this is what we could do for this guy and his family. Uh, and uh, there was something very nice, you know, this entire community out here in Kandipi is fantastic. They really donated out of their own heart and uh, Even the MLA, who is uh, Mr. Ramesh Singh Thakur, he himself donated one, one lakh. So he actually collected four and a half lakhs his family. That was one achievement I think the Neighborhood Times did to uh, the small family who really had a huge expense of around eight lakhs. In terms of circulation, they wanted to reach the maximum amount of people in the least amount of time. Their target was 20,000 readers. They started giving out the newspaper with the English newspapers that people mostly read. In terms of competition, they were the first people to start a newspaper in Kandivli. They made a huge impact locally. They had exquisite news of the happenings in the locality that were not shown, neither broadcasted. Okay, then anyways, My Times closed shop and then they copied our name. Neighborhood Times, they just changed the name to Times Neighborhood. It was September 23rd, 2011. Okay, see the story? See this girl? Shriya Sharma. Okay, a year back. Come back to Shriya Sharma. Same photograph. Exactly the same. Okay. See? Forever the same, no change. <laughs> okay, so uh, working in Neighborhood Times, uh, how does it make you feel? What's the experience? And uh, See, basically, 
after joining neighborhood times what was uh, very important for me was these guys are up to you know not not up to sense nationalism okay so it was uh, more of like a community work and a social service kind of thing so that's what i appreciate about these guys and it's always been a fun uh, you know working with neighborhood times so do you feel good about uh, being part of a me medium that helps the society Yes, surely, because uh, that's what makes uh, me, you know, something unique from others. I mean, I'm not the one who's running after those politicians or cops. It's like I'm on my way. I know what I'm doing, and I'm very much sure about it.